What's up, guys? Once again, you're welcome to our channel today. All right, guys, our video of a man showing uh, Ribadu, the new security advisor to the president, actually addressing um, press after the last meeting Tenobu had with the service chiefs. Now, I want you guys to notice something. Um, the video you are not, you are watching right now, notice those generals behind Ribadu. Are they looking, are they really looking uh, very happy that Ribadu is actually leading them, being a police officer? Just take a look at their faces, you know. Of course, you know, before this time, when Tenobu had wanted appointing Ribadu as the National Security Advisor to lead the previous service chiefs that were ousted by Tenobu, they were angry. They rejected it and said they don't want a, I mean, it should be a general, at least a four-star general to lead them in the capacity of the National Security Advisor. All right, Tenobu removed them and put these new service chiefs. But even yet, even yet with that, I don't think these guys are well pleased. Military is military. The military is just like a cult. They might actually endure you for a while, but I tell you, they are very dangerous. So I want you to just listen to this video, and then you you tell me, what do you think? Do you think that these generals are very pleased that a police officer, who they do not, don't even consider to be a force, to be leading them and addressing them? Watch the video. Well, we are here uh, to thank Mr. President for the opportunity he gave us to serve our country and to serve his own government. Uh, we thank him very much. We also pledge our loyalty to him and to Nigeria and Nigerians. We believe that the choice he made is the right one, the correct one, and we know what he wants for this country. We are going to work tirelessly to ensure that we accomplish that objective of securing our country establishing peace, stability, and let's get our lives back. He gave us the assurance that he is with us 100%. He told us that we must work as a team, and there is a work to be done. He will expect us to deliver, and we are grateful for the opportunity. That's why we are here. Big task ahead of you, sir. Yes, and it is going to be done, inshallah. Where we are today, and you can see already things are improving in our country. If you see the record of crimes and activities of the criminals, it's going down. It will continue to go down. We will secure this place. Uh, Nigerians have seen the quality of people that are given opportunity. They are probably some of the best we have, and they are not going to fail. You. They will certainly deliver. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Sir. Thanks, sir. All right, so guys, after listening to what Ribadu said, you, you, you even notice that Ribadu himself, his voice is shaky. He is not very confident leading these generals. He is not very, very confident. The reason why Tenobu brought in Ribadu is um, to make the Ribadu sanitize the military sector because everybody knows Ribadu is a corruption crusader. Everybody knows him. So I believe Tenebo brought him to sanitize our sector and to expose a lot of rot in the military. But are the military going to allow it? This is what has been going on right from inception of the military in this country. Will Ribadu be able to actually do this job in the military? He may succeed to have done it in, on, on uh, the politicians, but he may not be that very effective with the military. And these guys could be very dangerous. They are very dangerous. These are people who are trained to kill. So, I don't know, but what do you guys think about this? What have you noticed about Ribadu and these generals? Do you think you'll be able to look them up in the face and give them order? Yes, I know T Ribadu is operating in the office of the presidency. All right? But do you think that they are happy that a police officer, at least the first time a police officer will be leading the Nigerian military? It's the first time. So some people said that the Tinubu have deviated from the norms or the tradition of the military. 
that he should have followed that, that this is very dangerous. And of course, if you study what happened recently between Tinubu and the previous uh, um, service chiefs, Tinubu had to pacify those service chiefs, otherwise they would have been cool. He had to pacify them by giving them four uh, SUV, bulletproof SUV, uh, SUV, and then gave them, in fact, the bumper package Tinubu gave to those generals, I think there are more than 100 of them that got retired. You know, he had to appease them. In fact, Shawara even said that there was even a coup that these generals held Tinubu to ransom. They held him to ransom. And then according to Shawara, he said that those generals know the secret of how Tinubu won the election. And that is why Tinubu had to give them this bumper package for them to close their mouth and retire in peace. Otherwise, they were about to target him on re-entry, on coming back to Nigeria from France, you know, he traveled to France, on coming back, he would have been a target, you know. But Stenebo was very fast, and he was able to pacify them with that. Imagine each general going back with more than, with more than, um, I think more than 70, both security details, orderlies, and also uh, those people that attend to him, they are more than 70. I think you will have 36 soldiers that will guide each general. And there are more than 100 of them. And from the look of things, somebody said that the money that, the money that was given to all of the 100 generals is more than 100 billion. That is their own gratuity. Not to talk about other allowances. And so it's, uh, it's just too expensive to maintain those generals. I know they've done a good job. Yes, they've done a good job. But some people are also of the opinion that they've not done anything, that the generals are just too much. That in those days, according to what I listened to one man said, he said, in those days, 1981, it was difficult for you to even see a brigadier general because there were only two in the country as at that time. He mentioned Buhari and one other uh, general. But today we have many brigadier generals all over the whole place. There are just too many. You know, and um, so what do you guys think? I want you to drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. Do you think that everybody will be able to succeed to lead these generals, give them order? Or do you think that they will make a mistake to bring Ribadu? I want you to drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. This is Emma TV. God bless you.